Okay, guys, I started recording this a bit late because I didn't think it was going to be worth making a video on this. But again, I'm making another battery box, but this one's just going to be 5 volt. And you must be asking, why don't I just buy a power bank? Well, the thing is, if I use a power bank to power like uh, LED strips, uh, the 5 volt versions, um, power banks automatically switch off, switch off if they don't have any load attached. So that's not going to be very helpful um, to power them because we want the motion sensor to always be active. So that's why I build these because the USB 5 volt output can always be on. Perfect for my uh, motion sensing DIY kits. So uh, what we're going to do here is we've got a smaller Jiffy box from JCAR. We've got a single... Samsung 3.7 volt 18650 2500 milliamp hour lithium ion cell and we've got a single TP4056 and this time I'm just going to use the uh, module on its own because this has got the built-in BMS it's got the battery inputs and the load outputs and we're going to reuse this um, 3. Well, it's actually a boost converter, uh, boost converter to 5 volts, and we're going to give it a little bit more of an LED so I can see it when it's powered on. And this is the switch with its the switch that's going to turn on the USB port. So I'll loop you in once I've put it all in the box. And oh, sorry, um, the input to charge the battery will be just this USB C fly lead. Um, I'm about to solder it onto the TP4056. Okay, I think all the soldering's done. So there's the USB buck converter, LED with a resistor into the switch on the positive line. And that goes to the TP4056 load output. And then we've got leads going to the battery case and then the switch. I'll put it all into the case and we'll see if we can power on. Okay, I've um, made the hole for the USB port. I'm getting really good at this now. And I've put the battery in, labelled the positive and negative terminals because they don't seem to be labelled. And there we go. All right, I'll start putting it in the box. A few moments later. All right, we're almost there. I just insulated the terminals with some electrical tape. I took out the LED because this LED should be fine on the um, uh, step-up converter for the 5 volt USB. Almost there. More moments later. All right, we are finished and it's all labeled. I'm really happy with this build. It's really compact. So I've labeled charging end. Uh, 5 volt USB out. I'll show you my cutting out job. Not the best, not the worst. Plug that back in. Uh, label 3.7 volt lithium ion 1S1P single cell. 2500 milliamp hours or 9.25 watt hours. That LED is for charging and this light's for USB power. There it is. It's a bit hard to see in this light because it's a bit bright, but it's on. Okay, you don't want it to drain too much battery anyway. And I got a dollop of silicon on both of those to disperse the light better. Now, as I said, I built one of these because with normal power banks, if there's no load detected or it's very small, it just turns off. And that's not going to work if you have something like uh, a motion sensor like that. Not this one, this is a 12 volt one, but I've got a 5 volt one which we're going to use this for. And it needs to be running all the time. So that's why I can't use a standard power bank. So, how much does this cost? I've got a price for you. This is great. First time I've got, I've got a pricing guide. So, wiring. Let's say one meter for red, one meter for black. 56 cents. These are all in Australian dollars. The Jiffy box, $3.45. The 5 volt DC module, which is the USB out. It's from JCAR. Um, it's called an Arduino 5 volt DC buck converter or boost converter, I think. Yeah, boost converter. Um, and it can boost from 2.5 volts onwards. That's why it's 
designed for the Arduino's low voltage. We have a TP4056 with protection, so it doesn't just charge, it's got the overcharge, over discharge stuff, etc. They were in 10 pieces, 10 pieces a pack, so uh, $1.36 for one of them. USB-C round connector, which is this thing here, so I don't have to push the TP4056 closer to the edge. This is easy to put in, just a round hole. They came in a pack of 20, I think it's Timu, so 44 cents each. This Samsung battery, uh, JCAR 1495. The micro push button switch, this thing. They came in a pack of 20, so 21 cents each. So, grand total of $25.92. That is... Pretty good, I think. $25.92. What do you think for a DIY power bank? And there we have it. I hope you enjoyed this build, and I'll catch you in the next video.